Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 35, where we're going to use the associative property in models to multiply fractions. Yes, we're starting to multiply fractions instead of subtract. And it's really going to be kind of a, a basics, a very much a beginnings. So I want you to remember, first of all, that multiplying is multiple groups or sets. So 3 times 2 is 6. The first number is stating how many sets I have of a number. So in this one, I have three sets of two. Two, two, and two. Three sets of two, which makes six. That's important because when we get to fractions, like three times one-third, we are stating that we have three sets of thirds. So in a tape diagram, I would have a third, a third, and a third, which can make a total of three-thirds, or a whole. Right? So just remember that little tip that the first number is your number of sets, and then your second part tells you how much is in each set. All right? Now starting our work, they first do want you, they want you to go ahead and draw and label a tape diagram. And they just want you to prove that this following statement is true. That 8 thirds is the same as four sets of 2 thirds which is the same as 4 times 2 sets of thirds. Huh? Just start right here. Can you draw 8 thirds? So here's my tape diagram. I'm going to cut it into fourths and then cut it into eighths. And I have 8 one thirds, don't I? I have 8 thirds. So in each one, I'm going to go ahead and label that I have a third. There. Now, does my drawing show that I have eight of them? Yes. And does it show that there are four sets of two-thirds? Well, not yet. These two could make two-thirds. These two could make two-thirds. And on and on. Two-thirds, two-thirds. Now I have four sets of two-thirds made out of my eight-thirds. You're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Now I had my students um, decided to skip right from the unit fractions here, which it doesn't say that you have to make unit fractions in the directions. And they went right away to the 15 eighths being three groups of five eighths. So they modeled it right away into three groups of five eighths, five eighths, and five eighths for a total of 15 eighths. Eighths. And I'll accept that answer as well for my class. All right. Now moving on, they would like you to express the next part in unit form. Now if you remember unit form, the number 1,000 in unit form would be 1, then the word spelled out 1,000. There's my, sorry, hideous, quick writing. But that's all they want you to do. Okay? So for this one, you would be writing 10 times 2 fifths equals 20 fifths. And guess what? It is done. That's it. They want you to write the unit forms, and they want you to explain that if you had 10 sets, basically, 10 sets of 2 fifths, you would have 20 fifths total. Done. That's it. Let's do a couple more. The next one, 9 times, or I guess I could put sets of, 9 times 4 ninths equals 36 ninths and three times oops I was starting to put the number five sixths equals fifteen sixths alright they're having any writing unit form to get used to 
Um, just this idea that you're doing multiple sets of six, and you're going to get a set of 15 six. Okay? It's kind of good to spell it out. It's like saying three sets of five apples would be 15 apples. So it's back to that keeping your denominator, what you were talking about. We're talking about sixths. Your answer should end up being in sixths. And you may leave it like this. They're, I know they're improper. You may leave it like this. Now, as you finish off the page, you can do all the work with multiplication and numbers. No unit form, no words. And you don't even have to simplify. In fact, the directions don't say to simplify. That is part of the next lesson, 36. So, uh, lesson 36. So let's go ahead and get started here and say that when you're doing six sets of three-fourths, that is like saying six times three sets of fourths, which is 18 fourths. See, really, I know this is a weird multiplication symbol, Really, all you're doing is multiplying the whole number times the top number, and your denominator stays the same. 6 times 3 is 18, and we're dealing in fourths, so leave your answer in fourths. 13 times 2 thirds is 13 sets of 2 thirds, which is 26 thirds. Leave your answer just like that. Okay? And B, 7 times 5 thir eighths is like seven times five sets of eights, which would be 35 sets of eights. All right? D, last one. 18 times two thirds is like 18 sets of two thirds, which is 36 thirds. Which 36 divided by three is 12, I know but they are comfortable with you leaving your answer like this. If you have any more questions about this introduction to multiplying fractions by using what we know about unit fractions, models, associative property, then see me and I'd be glad to help. Thanks.